Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, the price of food at schools, elementary and secondary, has gone up by 254%. Now, I wanted to do kind of an interactive video where you can participate in the comments. We're just going to go over the numbers that they're giving us here. And then if you could please, in the comments, put down like what you're paying for these certain items where you live and jot down what state you live in. For example, let's say here they say that eggs went up 49%. Uh, according to my brother who lives in Ohio, in the last year, eggs have gone up by about 700% from 89 cents per carton to over $6 a carton. I think it was $6.69 or something like that that he told me. Uh, but I'm senile, as you all know. So if you can leave in the comments what you're paying for these items, because I know that we're paying a lot more for these items here in Alaska than what we were a year ago or a year and a half ago. And I'm going to show you just one example of how it is that these numbers are made to look a lot better than what they really are. So here it says that U.S. inflation, how much have prices really increased? And they're saying here they're featuring their number one item, school lunches, went up 254%. I have to stop right here real quick. If you have not watched the video that I put up uh, going to the coin shop, I believe it was yesterday, there is a giveaway involved in that video. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a card for that. I think it's up there or up there, one of those places. I'll leave a card up for that. Go check that video out because there is going to be a giveaway for that video of people that commented on that video and uh, I will be doing the giveaway during tomorrow's live stream at 2 p.m. Alaska time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. But you don't have to be in the live stream in order to find out whether you won or not. So you can enter in that video and then we'll announce the winner on tomorrow's live stream. But continuing, fuel oil, and this is the example that I'm going to use right here. Fuel oil, 65.7%. This is in the last 12 months, which is about right, ladies and gentlemen, about 65% or so in the last month. But I want to show you something real quick. Check this out. Here's uh, heating oil. Heating oil and fuel oil is pretty much the same thing. Uh, take a look at this. Right here, this is about a year ago, all right, just a little over a year ago. It was $2.06. And right now it's about 318, which is pretty close to what it is here. Right now, I think it's like three dollars and fifty-four cents here, which is a lot better than what it was not too long ago here back in uh when was it? Back in April of last year, it was almost five dollars. Well, for us it was over five dollars. I think we topped out at about five dollars and fifty-five cents or something. And uh over here in October of 2022, it was four twenty-nine. And isn't it convenient that in November, in November, ladies and gentlemen, of 2022, it dropped down to 318. So you can expect those prices to go back up. But this is what I'm talking about here. Take a look at this low. Back in April of 2020, it was 84 cents. 84 cents, ladies and gentlemen. Now, April of 2020 was not that long ago. And my question to you is, if you use heating oil for your home, has your pay increased over 300% to make up for how much heating oil you need in order to heat your home? Mine hasn't, and I'm pretty sure that for most Americans, uh, if not just about all Americans, except for that very top 2 or 3%, your pay hasn't gone up by 300%. But anyways, I digress. I just wanted to show you this because, yes... This is a living thing. It goes up and down with supply and demand, but this is over the years. And look at this. This is not going to go with the war on fuel, the war on energy that we have going on. This is not really going to go back down, especially with inflation the way that it is. So prep up, continue to prep. I am very happy that I prepped up on my fuel oil or my heating oil when I did because it's still averaged out to be less than 319 or what they're charging at the pump right here per gallon. So I'm still a little bit of he ahead, but the thing is, is that there's security in having it instead of not having it and trying to wait for the very cheapest part. So make sure that you're prepped up. I think that this year has taught a lot of people that they need to be prepared in not only heating oil, but in everything. So look at eggs. Eggs, 49%. And so I stated, my brother told me that the eggs where he lives are a lot more. Airline fares, 36%. 
Uh, I don't travel, so I really have no idea. But let us know if you're a frequent traveler, if you fly often. Let us know if you've noticed just about a 36%, about a one-third increase in, in what you pay for traveling. Or are you paying a lot more comparatively? Uh, butter. Butter here has gone up an awful lot more than 34%. So these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where they get these numbers from, but I think that the people that get these numbers, they probably don't do a lot of shopping. Uh, flour and, and prepared flour mixes, 25%. That's probably about right, if I remember. That's probably about right. Public transportation, again, that's something that I don't do. So let us know in the comments. Fats and oils, 21%, ladies and gentlemen. That right there... <laughs> At least for me, it is nowhere close to 21%. You're looking at at least 50%. And in some cases, dependent on the oil that you use for cooking, for us is the olive oil that we get from Costco, the Kirkland brand. That's gone up almost 100%. I remember I used to buy that at 20 bucks, 19.99, And now I believe it's almost $36. And what I'm talking about here is maybe not just over the last 12 months, but close to it. Uh, rice and pasta, again, has gone up a lot more than 16% from what I've seen. Let us know what it is where you live. Uh, bread has gone up 15%. We really don't buy bread that much, but the bread that we do buy whenever we buy it from Costco is those hoagie rolls. I remember I used to get a pack of three for less than $6, and now I believe it's close to $9, so uh, a lot more than 15%. Coffee has gone up 14.6%. You can all let me know. I get my coffee from Nutrient Survival. Uh, but that coffee has gone up as well. I should have stocked up even more when I had the forethought. Uh, poultry or chicken, 13%. I don't know about you, but I just saw chicken breast, boneless chicken breast, like they've got pictured right here, for like $3.79 or so per pound. And you all remember, it wasn't that long ago that we were looking at $0.99 cent a pound chicken breast. Uh, energy. I'm not sure about you all, but energy up here has gone up as well, and I think it's more than 13%. However, to be truthful, in the winter time here, our energy consumption is a lot more so it may seem like it's more to me. I haven't actually looked at the kilowatt uh, that they charge, how much they charge per kilowatt hour. And here they're talking about furniture. We won't worry about that. Gasoline, ladies and gentlemen, has only gone up 10%. But take a look, just like the fuel oil, how much it's gone up in the last year and a half or so. Fruits and vegetables, they've only gone up 10%. Well, to tell you the truth up here, fruits and vegetables have gone up quite a lot. And the quality has substantially gone down. Alcoholic beverages, I can't really talk about too much. Apparel, I almost never buy any clothes. That's why you always see me wearing the same clothes. Uh, beef and veal. V beef and veal have only have gone down 5%, but how much has it gone up in the last couple of years? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how they get you. Oh, good news. Smartphones went down 23%. You know why that is? Do you know what demand destruction is? Demand destruction is when people have no money to buy something that they don't need, so they stop buying it. Or when something gets so expensive that people just go without it. Same case. Same case scenario here. And then here we'll finish it off with this. Overall, the items in the basket of goods under the Consumer Price Index have increased by a collective 7.1% in one year. Now you all tell me, has your cost of living only gone up by 7.1%? I notice that there's a few things that they don't have on there. For example, they don't have rentals or housing. How much housing has gone up? I do believe that housing and renting specifically has gone up a lot. They don't put in there how much your taxes have gone up because your taxes is part of your cost of living, right? And taxes did go up starting this year and, in my opinion, in a big way. They don't put how much the cost of automobiles have gone up and automobiles have gone up a pretty good amount. I believe that they're going to go down. I'm hoping to see some really big sales here in the middle of this year. And who knows, maybe I'll take advantage of that. And listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Heading into 2023, many feel that a recession is on the way. Well, I would say that we already are in a recession. And a recession is a lagging indicator anyways. Uh, and a lot of households will have to continue borrowing at higher rates 
to keep up with basic goods purchases. I believe that a lot of households are going to have to keep borrowing, meaning using their credit cards, just to buy food. On the upside, some experts anticipate that although there will be an economic downturn, it will be brief and won't deeply impact the economy like past ones. Ladies and gentlemen, can anyone say wishful thinking? But let us know down in the comments if any of these numbers resonate with where you live and if it's more or less. There may be some places where you're paying a lot less than what the actual inflation is as being reported by the CPI. Uh, that way we can take a look at them and see how closed each state is. Having said that, remember, go check that video out where I did uh, the video in the coin shop with Jerry and Dick because there is a giveaway involved. And remember that tomorrow we do have a live stream at 2 p.m. Alaska time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So hope to see you there. God bless every one of you. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.